like I said, I'm honored to come. I'm, it's a, a true blessing. I can't wait. I uh, can't wait to meet everyone and, and have an engaging conversation. You can expect me not to just preach to people. I love, you know, open dialogue and discourse and, and people can ask questions. And most importantly, you know, I, people need to understand that one of my jobs and one of my goals is to make it as safe as possible, that this is a safe space, um, regardless of what you've been through or what you've witnessed in life. Um, and where we go with this conversation and, and where this all leads to, it has to be in a safe space. Um, so that's that's like just number one. So, I, you know, people might be nervous and anxious and maybe even terrified to, to have these kinds of conversations. So I would just tell them now to just try and relax and breathe. And, and you know, we're all going to do it together. We're all here together. OK, um, yeah. I've been doing yeah, before I even say that, you know, you said the word vulnerability, you know, to be vulnerable, which is for a lot of people just like blatantly terrifying so if anyone's out there listening to this and it is scary for you to be vulnerable you have to understand that that is actually normal to be nervous scared anxious um but vulnerability i would almost i would argue that it's necessary at mm -hmm. times but it's also of who you become vulnerable with yeah. and how you choose to be vulnerable and you know fear is incredibly powerful so hopefully one of my goals is to ideally break down some of that fear, ideally just kind of hopefully kill it for some people um, because you don't have to live in fear. You don't have to. It, it makes sense to, you know, be worried to, to, to maybe get married again or be worried to date again or be terrified to be in a sexual situation or, or whatever it might be. Right. Um, but the fear doesn't have to control and cripple our lives. So hopefully I can help with that. And uh, that would be one of my goals. I, you know, I would say come you're with people that actually care about you, right? Like you, I would not fly down from Boston, Massachusetts, if I didn't believe in this, if I didn't care about you, if I didn't want this to be helpful, I just wouldn't do that. And so you, you're with people that they're so concerned for you and they want you to deal with and, and grow from whatever it is that afflicting you, right? Like not everyone suffers from the powers of sexual violence, right? Like the same. But um, but as scary as it is, I would say if you were ever going to do it, do it in a group setting with people that, again, are, are in similar maybe places or, again, with, with some professionals that really care. I have tons. Of, I have resources for people. I have things. And it doesn't just end that day. You know, it goes on. Um, but you also don't have to. No one's I'm not asking you to tell me your deepest and darkest secrets of life and set it in front of 30 people. Or whatever it is no one's saying that now you can if you choose to and you might be led that way there might be something inside of you that just breaks and you have to say it and you'd be shocked of how powerful that would be for yourself and for others right but there may you might not feel comfortable doing that which is okay and you might feel comfortable speaking to me or someone else privately correct throughout the day which is more than okay or you might not feel comfortable speaking at all and that's okay so you have to understand that and maybe you write something, but maybe with the resources, maybe the things you learn that day, or the things you encounter, you may, we hopefully can be a bridge to where you need to go. Because the truth is, if you don't deal with whatever it is afflicting you, it will continue. And it might get worse in your life.